Okay, so in this video, I am following up on the uh, knee clicking issue I reported in my previous video with a demonstration that the clicking is different depending on how I'm positioned. So let's, uh, let's get it started. First, I lie on my back. So just straight on my back, I lift my knee um, so it's pointing up, and I go from full flexion uh, to extension. And the clicking occurs always at the same spot, uh, just about the point where my knee is about 90 degrees. So I go from full flexion or deep flexion to 90 degrees, and the click occurs uh, right about the 90 degree mark. So I'll just show it a few more times. Unfortunately, the audio recorded uh, wasn't reliable. Um, my microphone had a uh, had a had a sock, and so that actually reduced the audibility of the clicks. I could hear it while I was recording; it was very definite. Uh, but unfortunately, on the playback, it it didn't come back. So now I'm shifting to another position, and this I think is. Uh, going to shed some light on the situation. So now you can see that my knee is pointing um, up at, I guess, something like a 45 degree angle in relation to the floor. So not parallel, but my thigh is actually creating um, <clears throat> a 135 degree angle from the floor, pointing up and out. And what I find is that the click occurs earlier. Uh, so whereas before I had to straighten my knee from flexion to 90 degrees, the click occurs now earlier. So the click occurs, uh, let's say, s about 70 degrees of, um, of flexion rather than 90 degrees. And now with my thigh perpendicular to the floor, there's much less clicking. The, the click is much less audible um, and it occurs around about 90 degrees. Okay, and then if I have my thigh, um, if I if I have my the top of my foot turned all the way, so that uh, I'm actually kicking down towards the floor rather than just parallel with the floor, then there's no clicking at all. Um, so if I'm on my back and I raise my leg, no matter how slowly, uh, I will get an audible click. But in this position, with the thigh I guess chambered, and my femur now internally rotated uh, somewhat, there is less of a click. So if I turn right over, you can see uh, I'm kicking, basically kicking down. There's actually no click. Now, if I give it a snap, if I use some power, that produces a click, but again, a much less audible click than the uh, than that which is produced from other positions. So with my knee pointing towards the floor, and I assume that there's a certain amount of internal rotation going on there uh, to achieve that position, there's no click if it's a smooth motion, but as soon as I give it a kick, and you can see that, that my uh, thigh sort of bounces a bit, then that produces a click. Um, and so the most audible click is if I'm lying straight on my back with my knee straight up, so uh, with gravity not really acting on the outside thigh muscles. Uh, but it seems that the more that the, uh, the more that I have to actually hold my leg up with the outside of my thigh pointing away from the ground and the inside of the thigh towards the ground, that is, the knee pointing towards the ground, uh, I really feel the burn in my glutes. I think it's my glutes, might be my TFL. Sort of around the back, the, the, the fifth pocket area, the, the around just on the outside of, of the hip, uh, for a little bit further down, I think that's the TFL area. I feel a real burn there while I'm performing this exercise, and there is practically no click. So that's uh, 
so I don't know what that signifies, but it tells me that there's something uh, to do with the muscles on the outside of the thigh. Uh, I don't think it's sufficiently, I don't think it's a, simply a weak VMO. Uh, I think there's a bit more to it than that. And uh, I hope that anyone watching this can shed some light on the situation. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope to get your feedback soon.